Uh, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In this video, I want to explain how to create items in the QuickBook. Uh, but first of all, what is item? Item simply means those products and services which you want to offer for the customers or which you want to purchase from the vendors. So it is basically the product of your business. What is your product? First of all, the product should be available. Otherwise, you cannot purchase it as well as you cannot sell it. First of all, name of the item should be available and then you can buy and sell and so on. How to create the items? One option is under the company panel. Click on this one, you can find out. So it's still no item is registered or created in your company. And second option is basically go for the item list, come the second part. First part was chart of account. Second part is item list, right? Once again, you cannot find you cannot find anything here. But if you want to, for example, create the new one, right click, go for one for the new. Or otherwise, come down part, item, click on what in the new. Or otherwise, you can go for the shortcut like Control N, right? Let us press this one. When you press this one, these are the types of item that you can create in the QuickBooks service, inventory part, and so on. These are the types of account that we will explain in this and the next next video, right? It may take two or three videos. So let us say, for example, first of all, we want to create service account. The good thing, as I said, the good thing is with the QuickBook, as I said before, is this one. Uh, that provide information regarding that type of account. For example, service account. It provides the usage of this one. Use for the service you charge, you charge for, or purchase like a specialized labor consulting hour or professional fee and so on. This is basically the, the uh, this is used the service is used for the purpose of uh, charging the service which you offer for your customer or when you purchase from the suppliers. For example, it can be consultation, it can be, for example, training, it can be any kinds of service as you need, right? So, you can provide your service here, basically. Let us say, for example, first of all, we want to create the service by the name of a service itself. And we want to consider that one as a parent account. Which account? Services. And we want to take this one as a parent only. Do not give any value for this one. I will come back to this point once again. So this one should be considered a parent and link it with the sales account. Why I need it? Why I want to do, do this one? Because I need to uh, make some good explanation for the next account. Create this one. So suppose I have created one account by the name of what? Service account. And let us consider that one as a parent account and link the rest of the accounts with this one. See, once again, go for the service. Now let us mention your service account. For example, uh, we want to mention, uh, for example, uh, console consultation service which service consultation services is it the sub account of some other accounts yes is it the sub account yes we want to make it the sub account of which account service account right do you have any unit of measurement to measure this one unit of measurement can be for example single unit of measurement can be for example multiple or otherwise you can make your own unit of measurement let us say for example we need a single unit of measurement how you measure service? Usually service is measured by what? By time. If this unit of measurement is not available here, you can go for others. You can make your own, for example. For me, it is already available here. Yes. So which one is available? Service is usually charged for per hour, right? So let us say, for example, it is per hour. Service is charged. Next option. This is available here. The service is used in assemblies or, in assemblies or is performed by a contractor subcontractor or partner this option is to be tagged only if this service has some cost as well see the point here if the service is provided by you directly to the customers or we can say to anyone do not require or it is not required to take this one why because if you take this one it means someone else has provided the service for someone else for example in the case of Cardan. If service is directly provided, for example, by owner of Cardan, no need for taking this one. But if service is provided by other people, like as for the students, so it means each service has some cost as well as the service has some, some revenue. On that case, click on this one, provide information regarding cost of the service as well as provide information regarding revenue of the service as well. But for the first example, let us say that the service does not have cost at all. It has only what? 
it has only revenue right so if it has revenue only does not have the cost so please provide information regarding revenue for example for consultation how much you charge we charge for example hundred dollars suppose if the unit of currency is dollar hundred dollar dollar per hour whether the service you charge is taxable or not yes government collect tax as well for this the service which you receive as an income should be collected under which account it should be collected under which account under sales account why because this is the income which you receive if the income you receive it should be recorded under which account there should be some account for this one right for example if you rent if you receive rent it should be collected under rent if you receive commission it should be collected under commission if it is your main service it should be collected for example under sell right so please in this way you can register it item is active or inactive so let us say it is active right now then you can collect for okay now the consultation service is created but this one is created under which one under service account right now let us create one more service account okay for example this time let us say it is training guide training service <laughs> training services once again is it the sub account of something else yes we want to make it once again the sub account of which account service account unit of measurement like the previous one it is ours but what is the problem for this time there is a there is a cost as well with this one if there is no cost please do not take this one it means if you have provided but if there is some cost someone else has provided this one on that case you have to of course uh, take this one to provide information regarding cost as well right so give some description regarding purchase and mention for example how much you purchase it for example we purchase this one we can say $20 per hour it means we pay $20 per hour for the trainer right and it's the kinds of expenses it should be linked with the any expenses account so link it with the any expenses account as you think it is feasible right so please find out the type of expenses account which is feasible for you for this one otherwise if this is not available if the exact type of account is not available so then you have to create for creating such kinds of uh, expenses account so as I think it is not available here if it is not available so let me create one account for this one we know now how to create the account right click service mention training account which account training expenses for example training expenses so save this one now the account is available here so you can uh, link this expenses to this account Usually who prefer, for example, or who provide the service for you? Mention the name of the person who provide the service. It's still name of those people are not available. We will discuss it this, this point in the next next videos. How to, for example, enter or register our vendor. But for the time being, let me just create one of those. I will not go in much in deep, just I will mention the name. For example, the service is provided by Muhammad. Provided by Muhammad. And it's not working. Of course, it is provided by Nasir, for example. Nasir Ahmad, for example, right? Nasir Ahmad and doesn't work. By Nasir Ahmad. Nasir Ahmad has provided this one. Who I will explain the rest of this point later. So services purchased for twenty per dollar. It is belong to training expenses and it is provided by Ahmad. Now the point is how much you charge for this one, for example, right? Suppose I want to charge, for example, thirty dollar per hour, right? Thirty dollar per hour, and whether it is taxable or not, if it is taxable, taxable. Otherwise, it is just legal. Income of this one is belong to which account? For example, let us say once again, income of this one is belong to which account? Belong to expense account. So you can create in this one, right? So in this way, you have created the second service account under which one? under this one and of course both of them were the sub account of the main service